Okay, folks, if you're watching this video, that means you're going to attempt to connect your Miracle Box using an Ethernet cord, which is the fastest and strongest connection. So here's what I want you to do. Make sure your Miracle Box is plugged up. Make sure it's connected to the HDMI port on your TV and you should be ready to go. Do not plug this in yet, okay? Do not plug this in yet. Only have your Miracle Box power cord and HDMI cord plugged in. Do not plug this in yet. I'm gonna tell you when to do it. Trust me, follow my instructions. It's going to make it easier for you to do this way. So power on your Miracle Box. I'm gonna see you in the inside. Okay, welcome to the inside of the Miracle Box 4.0. Now remember, this video is showing you how to connect via Ethernet cord or direct connection. And in this case, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start by selecting our language. Now choose a language that is appropriate for you. I'm gonna choose English. Once you choose a language, it's gonna ask you, do you have an Android phone or tablet? In this example, we're gonna select no, why? Because remember, this is about connecting with an ethernet cord. Next is gonna give us some choices to select a Wi-Fi network. Now, remember, we're connecting via ethernet cord, so we don't want to choose a Wi-Fi network. So we're gonna scroll all the way at the bottom until we see skip. We're gonna press okay to skip this part, and then it's gonna ask us about the terms and privacy policy of Google. We're gonna accept those. It's gonna ask us for location. We're gonna click no. And in this case, it's gonna say help improve Android TV. We're gonna click yes in this case. And if you've done that correctly, your setup is complete. Now we're gonna hit finish. And it's gonna bring you to the main Miracle Box setup page. Now. You won't have any recommendations, why? Because we're not even connected to the internet and we have not even put in our Google or Gmail account password, so we're not connected to anything at this point. So the next step now is to go all the way down to the settings tab and we're gonna go over to network settings, we're gonna hit okay. Now remember, go past settings, go to network settings and you wanna hit okay. And what we want to do is we want to turn off this Wi-Fi. Turn it off by selecting that button till it's gray. And it's going to say Ethernet not connected. So here's what we want to do. I'm going to show you an example. This is when you want to connect your Ethernet cord. So again, we're going to show you a picture of how to do that. There it is right here. And let's do that now. Now, once you connect, you're gonna notice something. It's going to instantly pick up your internet and it's gonna say connected with IP addresses. So we don't have to do anything special other than just plugging the ethernet cord into our Miracle Box. Now, if you're not connected, you may wanna check your router, you may wanna check your ethernet cord because this means that your, your router is either not giving an internet connection or you may not have one but double check to troubleshoot why it does not say connected if you do not see exactly what you see on the screen now if you say if you see connected then you're good to go and in this case we're going to hit the little android guy or the little home button and we're going to go back home now again even though we're connected to the internet there's no recommendations because we didn't put in our gmail account but that's okay we can always do that later the next thing we want to do is we want to confirm our connection. So we do that by searching for test your speed. You may see this appear a number of different places. Again, these, these apps appear randomly. So find test your speed. You see it right here. We're going to press OK. And instantly, it should start reading our speed. Now I have probably almost 290 to 300 megabytes of internet speed. 
And again, if we have it connected correctly, then it should start giving us instant speed readings. And in this case, it's actually reading my speed instantly. So in this case, we have internet connection. We're pretty much good to go. If you hit the home button and go back to the main screen, then if you would like to later on, you can add your Gmail account. I'm gonna show you where you can add that at because you may wanna purchase from the Google Play Store. And in order to do that, you do have to have a Gmail account or, connect to, or be connected to Google. How you do that is go under TV settings and all the way down at the bottom, it will give you an opportunity to add an account and this is where you press OK. And from here, you can actually add a Google account. So again, if you have a Google account, you hit OK and you can actually sign in to your Google uh, Gmail and now you would be able to purchase or use recommended services from your Gmail account. Now this is how you set up via Ethernet and the next thing you want to do is you want to go down to MiracleBox Tools. That is going to show you how to connect to everything else but for the purposes of this video we are connected and you should move on to the MiracleBox Tools video which is a setup video on how to get everything organized.